New at 6, after an audit on ECOT revealed falsified numbers led to more state funding, state Democrats are now blaming Attorney General Mike DeWine. So what do they say he did? NBC 24's Kaylee Cunningham is live in the studio with the answer. And Kaylee, you spoke with Richard Cordray's running mate. That's right, Ryan. Lieutenant Governor candidate Betty Sutton says DeWine and Secretary of State John Husted received $40,000 in campaign funding from ECOT, leading them to not investigate to the fullest. Sutton was in Toledo Friday along with Senator T Teresa Freder and former Mayor Paula Hicks Hudson. They spoke out about the controversy with the Electronic Classroom of Tomorrow, which has now launched a criminal investigation. Sutton says DeWine has dodged questions about the audit and how it was handled and wants Republicans to the issue with ECOT is impacting Ohio public school students who need that funding ECOT allegedly took away from them. A billion dollars went to this, uh, this online sham and uh, obviously our, our uh, public schools need support. Um, our children need to have every opportunity to be empowered with the education they deserve and that will move not only them forward, but move our state forward. So when you are engaged in, in shielding from accountability and transparency and then taking uh, contributions uh, in exchange, as DeWine and Eustace have done, uh, then, you know, you are ripping off people in all kinds of ways.